What's up YouTube? This is Petrol Enthusiast coming back at you again with another video. Recently I uploaded a video with my new rims that I got on my 2005 RX8 GT. My previous rims that I still have were 18 by 9 and I had no issues with rubbing rears. I wanted it, you know, a little wider than the fronts. So I went to a 225 by 45 and um, that's where the uh, the half inch was like poking and um, I thought it was going to be okay because I ran those up front you know with my last um, setup that I had but since these are 18 by 95 that poke is a little aggressive like this whole wheel setup is very aggressive and um, I was really rubbing real bad you know in the fender well and within the, um, the rear wheel well itself I modified my rear uh, fenders. I cut a lot of the plastic housing underneath the wheel well that was needed and uh, rolled my fenders. You know, I started thinking, I was like, man, I can make a video out of this, so that's what I'm going to do. You know, I didn't buy no special equipment. I didn't have to heat my, um, my body panel. You know, I was just real gentle and meticulous about you know, rolling the fender. And you could use, you know, this basic, I believe it's a tool now because now I'm going to use it for some, some uh, other projects that will be coming, you know, along. And, you know, it's right in your house. Yeah, it's, it's something that deals with something that's in, a, you know, in your house, in the closet. And it's a, um, it's one of these. It's like um, a closet banister, you know, something where you can hang your hangers and clothes and stuff. And at the time, you know, I was really looking online to see, you know, what I could use or buy to use, you know, to roll my fenders or go to someone professionally. And I called around and they quoted me some pretty high prices. and really were discouraged because of the car that I was doing it for and you know I really didn't want to hear that I just wanted to get my fenders rolled and they just kept on there's two vendors that just kept on doing that locally and I just said you know what that's okay you know if you don't want to do them you don't want my money that's fine so I started thinking and looking around my garage and seeing if I had anything that was closely or relatively close to what I needed to do. Then I started thinking, I was like, I looked and I had this this wooden pole that I use for walking, like when I walk around the block. And I put it underneath the wheel well where the new tire and the new rims were and there was sufficient enough space and um, I just needed to back out my second car out so I could just like trial it. So I looked at it and I was like, you know, I don't want to be, you know, rubbing the wood on my on my panel. So I decided to use this duct tape. You get this at a uh, Home Depot, Target, or um, Harbor and Freight, about three, four dollars nice big roll. So I started, you know, wrapping it around um, my, my tool. And I started to proceed in slowly rolling my fenders without heating the paint, without any prep work. I just wanted to see what it would do. And it was working. And I started to do it like, like nice and slow easy not too much pressure not too much not too less not too much you know it was like just right to where it didn't even crack the paint it didn't even do anything to damage the outer part of the uh, the wheel well the only thing that i wanted to do was get that the corners of my wheel well folded in so that the tire would be flush anytime i backed out of my own driveway or went up a steep driveway or bumps and stuff because that was the problem I mean the fronts were real good 
but the rears were really, really bad. And rolling the fenders was the only way to mediate this. And instead of relying on somebody to do it for me, you know, I took it upon myself. I was like, you know what, I could do this. this. This isn't that hard. I don't need to buy a tool, you know, online and maybe use it once or twice. Now, you know, I have something that I could use or buy a new one if this gets, you know, worn out and stuff. <clears throat> That's not going to cost me much. And to do it and do it in confidence and knowing that I'm not going to damage my car. And um, I'm going to show you my technique that I did or what I, what I did do to roll my tires. I mean, not roll my tires, but roll my fender up so my tires will be flush as I drove, you know, the car or got out of the driveway. So let me, t you know, take you to the steps on what I did to do that. And instead of you, you know, spending a lot of money or having someone else do it, at least, you know, you'll be able to do it yourself, not spend no money, maybe five bucks to get a roll of um, masking, I like masking tape, and <clears throat> to do, you know, your own car project yourself, and give you the confidence to do more stuff by yourself. So, I'll be back to show you guys on how I did that. So here, I have the the wooden pole from my closet. Keep that in mind. And here's the roll of masking tape that I'm going to use so I don't damage. Okay, so now granted, I already did this already when I rolled my fenders when I had, you know, before I had the um, the new wheels on. But I'm going to do them anyways with the new wheels on to show you how safe and easy this is that you just have to be real meticulous and slow in doing this and you'll be able to roll your fenders up without damaging the paint on the outer part part of your uh, wheel well. So you're going to start on the bottom with the tape side up and then you're gradually going to roll upward start small and work your way down so as you get closer you're going to start advancing and rolling it upwards it's going to you're going to need a little force but not too much force and i already i could feel the fender rolling and granted, I'm not using any force, too much force, or I'm going to need the heat. You know, the paint where I'm damaging it. It's a timely process, but it works. So as you can see, where I'm rolling the fender, that's why the tape's there to protect, you know, the wood staff and your the fender itself, that you're not going to crack it, you know, the paint or anything. Granted, you're not doing this like really fast. You're taking slow motions and advancing the pull towards, you know, the area where you want to roll the fenders. You want to keep doing that till you reach the end where you want to stop and then work your way back. And um, I'll show you guys on like how how I rolled the fenders. I mean it, it even took in the <coughs> excuse me the protective uh, sound deadening thing mat that they have here so everything's like nice and tucked nothing is going to be sticking out or what do you call that flapping while you're driving all right i'm going to show you the area where i rolled the fender and you can see right there where the paint is starting to chip a little on the inside 
which is okay and then you see right here it's starting to roll the fender upward where you're not going to have that issue of it rubbing that's why I put the tape there to mediate or kind of dictate on how the pole is going to be um, you know being walked through the wheel well yeah you're gonna scuff up the paint inside the what you're rolling but as you can see you know I haven't damaged any part of the um, the outer part of the wheel well where I was rolling none at all so in conclusion if you don't have anybody to roll your own fenders or have a tool to do it all you need is one of these closet hangers or I don't know like a staff or a pole that you have in your own household a roll of tape masking tape or duct tape that's not gonna you know do too much damage to your uh, in to the wheel well and then just start working your way like I showed you going up here and look there's no crack you don't need a tool you don't need someone to do it for you you could do this yourself you just have have to have patience in doing so I didn't need to do it up front because I got a size 40 over there and a 45 in the back which gave it that poke I mean if you see you could see like minor poke there but you could definitely see a poke in the back there you have it you do the other side too the same way it's an easy way to save money and do it yourself and you know learn I mean if you're a car enthusiast you should be able to you know learn about you know things about your car or things that you can do with your car that you're capable of if you you know just try it I was kind of afraid at first but I was like you know what could go wrong if I do it nice and slow and at a pace where it's not going to damage anything or do anything so there's proof right there I didn't spend much money I used a tool or something from my house that I had to roll my tires I mean my fender and my wheel well you know and just patience I mean you could do it yourself too and it, didn't, it doesn't cost much except time and a little commitment that's it and this petrol enthusiast saying thank you for watching and hopefully this tip helps you or other people you know that have this type of situation when you run a, a very aggressive setup it would help me if you hit the like button and subscribe and just um, leave comments and tell me what you think about my own things that I do to um, to make my platform just a little bit better you guys have a good weekend. See you next time.